My name is Ellen Dent, and I'm the co-founder and lead organizer of the Animal Alliance Network, a 501c3 nonprofit that is part of the worldwide Animal Save movement. And I support boycott meat because I support ending all forms of oppression. Our group has been holding pig vigils outside of a slaughterhouse just 10 minutes from downtown Los Angeles for over two years. And what we do as part of our vigil is we bear witness to baby pigs as they enter on trucks into the slaughterhouse. And by bearing witness, we come as close as we can to these baby pigs and we give them water and love and any comfort that we can before they go into the slaughterhouse. And as part of our mission and our love-based approach, we also recognize that the slaughterhouse workers are also suffering inside of these places. They suffer permanent injuries, and permanent mental trauma from working at these jobs. A lot of them are immigrants and they're only trying to provide for their families and they don't think they can find any other line of work. And now, because of this pandemic, because of the coronavirus pandemic, they are facing illness and possibly dying just for working in these businesses that are not essential. These businesses are not essential for humans. Humans thrive on a plant-based diet. We don't need to eat meat. So I'm asking you today to take a stand against oppression with me. Don't buy meat. Please don't buy it. Please tell other people not to buy meat. Please don't consume meat. And you can help these workers today. My name is Susana, and I'm an organizer with Direct Action Everywhere, and we support boycott meat because the meat industry abuses animals, the workers, and the planet. I used to work in a slaughterhouse, and I witnessed the abuse towards the animals, and not only to the animals, but towards the humans as well. Years passed by, and I found Direct Action Everywhere, and I became an animal rights activist. And now I am proud to fight for a world where every humans and not humans are safe, happy, and free. If you want to fight with me, please boycott me. My name is Simone Scampoli, and I'm from Animal Safe Movement, and I support hashtag boycott me because I believe this current food system must change now. I'm Heather Damon with the Veg Academy, and I support boycott me, and I hope you will too. My name is Peter McQueen. I'm at the Toronto Cow Save Vigil and I support hashtag boycott meat because eating meat kills not only animals, but all non-human animals, but also workers, slaughterhouse workers and others. I'm Victoria Moran. I'm an author and podcaster, and I run Main Street Vegan Academy that trains vegan lifestyle coaches. I support boycott meat because some years ago, I spent a day in a slaughterhouse. Now, I knew that my heart would break for the animals, and it did, but it broke again that day for the workers. I'll always remember them standing in blood in refrigerated rooms amid deafening machinery and a stench that never did come out of the clothes that I wore that day. Now, workers are being forced into plants rife with COVID-19. No person of conscience could think that this was okay. Meat is not essential. I haven't had a piece of meat since I was 19 and that was a while ago. You can do this for the workers for your conscience, for your arteries. Join us, boycott me. Hello, my name is Gabriel Ochoa and I'm with PETA Latino. We support the League of United Latin American Citizens, Iowa, and its call for a meat boycott to save both animals and workers' lives. Filthy blocks soaked slaughterhouses houses are breeding grounds for deadly diseases that can jump and have jumped from animals to humans. Slaughterhouses are the least safe workplaces in the world, and they were even before the pandemic. After the slaughter of billions of animals, some were still conscious, and after nearly 20,000 COVID-19 infections and the deaths of more than 60 workers, Peter's calling on Tyson, Smithfield, JBS, Cargill, and all meat companies to protect animals. 
workers, and public health by closing their slaughterhouses and opening exclusively vegan meat production plants. Many of these companies are already producing vegan meats, so this is quite doable and PETA stands ready to help. Hi, I'm Jill Carnegie, co-organizer of Slaughter Free NYC, and I stand with Meatless in Solidarity. At Slaughter Free NYC, we know that slaughterhouses are terrible for the animals, the environment, for communities, and for the workers inside. We have spent countless hours connecting with and engaging with community members all over New York who are impacted by the presence of our many slaughterhouses. They know that the time has come to not only shut down operations of these slaughterhouses, but also for each of us to move toward a meat-free diet as quickly as possible. And this will impact humanity at large as well as improve quality of life immediately right here in New York. My name is Jacinta McDonald and I'm at the Toronto Plow Safe Vigil and I support hashtag boycott meat because meat is not essential. We're here today for slaughterhouse workers who are going into these places that are very dangerous to work in and they are getting COVID-19 from these dangerous places. They should not be first forced to work in these places. My name is Ananda, I'm at the Toronto Cow Vigil and I support boycott meat because slaughterhouses are a breeding ground for diseases such as COVID-19 and also I support the slaughterhouse workers who have to endure such horrible labor working and killing animals and it has a really bad psychological effect on them and I just want everyone to work in a place where they don't have to deal with that sort of situation. It's Jenny McQueen, I'm at the Toronto Cow Save Vigil and I support the boycott meat campaign because I stand up for animal rights, but I also stand up for human rights. I've been inside slaughterhouses, and I know the conditions are disgusting for the workers. They're coronavirus hotspots. There's E. coli in a slaughterhouse just in Toronto. These places need to be shut down, not just for the animals, but for the humans too. Thank you.